And so I'm really interested in how to improve care for patients with heart failure and Get With The Guidelines is a nationwide program sponsored by the American Heart Association. It's focused on trying to improve care for patients hospitalized with acute heart failure. This is really about trying to think about a new quality measure in heart failure. There's a lot of interest around trying to reduce heart failure readmissions and um, as a result the CMS or Medicare has um, adopted a few policies around this. Uh, one is reporting of readmission rates and two is actually starting to penalize hospitals with higher than expected readmission rates. Um, during that time, we've actually done some analyses uh, through Get With The Guidelines along with the DCRI that's shown that during the time period of those uh, policies though, uh, readmissions have gone down, but there's actually been an uptick in mortality. And so there's some controversy and concern about some of the unintended consequences of those policies. So this study was to try to look at a different quality measure. Instead of focusing on readmission rates, what if we focused on risk standardized mortality rates? So uh, this study used data from Get With The Guidelines linked to Medicare claims. And what we did is we described hospitals by their 30-day risk standardized mortality rate. So instead of readmission rate, their mortality rate. What we found was a nice relationship between those that had high performance, uh, they did really well with their mortality rates, uh, they actually provided better care. Patients that uh, were discharged there with heart failure had better short-term outcomes, 30-day mortality rates. They also had long, better long-term outcomes. One, three, five years later, they also did better. I think this has really important policy implications. So uh, over the last few years, we've had some concern around using risk standardized readmission rates. Maybe we should be thinking more about mortality rates as a, as a way to um, describe quality of care at, at hospitals for heart failure. I became uh, interested in heart failure as I went through my training. I, I always really liked having a, a really great relationship with patients. Uh, and so I, I really liked the idea of being able to care for patients over a long period of time. And uh, heart failure is a chronic disorder where you really get to know your patients and uh, help them through the thick and thin. Uh, and then I always love the physiology. Uh, heart failure is really fascinating and um, it's a really exciting time to actually be a heart failure cardiologist because we have a lot of new therapies, but we don't know how to implement them. And so, and so that's where I spend a lot of my efforts.